Get your starter out and let's get to baking some bread. We're going to be making sourdough bread. I've had quite a few requests for it. So, even though I was going to wait to start baking bread and doing videos, because I wanted to wait till I got cold enough to crank up the old Bessie here, but uh, I've had some requests, you know, want me to go ahead and make some sourdough bread. Now, we have to remember about sourdough. It was used in the days when people couldn't get a hold of yeast, so they had to have some kind of leaven for their bread. So they would take water and flour and make leaven with it. They would ferment it, and uh, it would become their starter for their bread. So that's what we're going to be doing today. There's not going to be any yeast in this recipe. So I always keep my finger crossed when I'm making uh, sourdough bread that it rises. And uh, I think there's a lot of people that are just starting in the sourdough. They're interested in it. So this is not a video about the starter because I have one. I'll leave the link below of one of my starters, which I make with yogurt, and it's a really good starter. But uh, today's video is all about the This is going to be a really easy recipe for beginners. And what I'm going to be using today is my Dutch oven and this is my cast iron Dutch oven that I make a lot of my different breads in and sourdough does really good this is just your everyday um, it's cast iron with ceramic so I know most people have these they're the heavy-duty uh, Dutch ovens and then here we just have your regular enamel pot with the lid and it'll work good too so just anything like that that you've got deep and has a good lid and is uh, can hold a lot of heat inside is gonna work so this is what you know just a little bit of what you uh, you could use now there's only gonna be four ingredients it's flour salt your starter and water. So it's gonna be that easy. Thank you. We're gonna pour in four cups of flour and I'm using all purpose, but you can use red flour. I've got one and a quarter cups of water and I'm gonna pour about one cup to start with. I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt and I'm using my Himalayan salt and I've got here I've got three-fourths cup of my sourdough starter and uh, my sourdough starter is a little bit runnier than what I like it I like it a little bit thicker um, but it'll work so I'm just gonna take my hands and uh, I'm just gonna mix this up real good we don't want to over mix it we don't want tough bread. That's why I don't have it in my mixer because I don't want to over mix it. So I'm just going to use my hands. Now, mixing this dough, the dough should be uh, sticky and it should be real shaggy like wet. And uh, I can feel it and it feels kind of dry to me. Like it needs just a little bit more water. So I'm just going to put just a little bit more. And I'm just going to keep mixing. Just mixing it together. Getting it all incorporated. And that feels a lot better. You just want to keep mushing it and mixing your, your starter and your salt and everything together. So that's pretty good. I don't want to mess with it too much. And now what I want to do is I want to cover it um, probably just with some plastic wrap here in a minute. And uh, I'm just going to let it sit here for about 30 minutes and let it rest. At least rest for a little bit. 
Okay, we're going to put some plastic wrap on this and let it sit for 30 minutes. It needs to sit a while and rest. And then when we come back, we're going to work the dough just a little bit. And then we're going to cover it back up. And we're going to put it to bed for the night. It's going to sit overnight and rest and proof a little. And then when we get up in the morning, we're going to bake us some sourdough bread. My dog's been resting for 30 minutes now. And I'm just going to take, I've got a little bit of oil on my hands, and I'm just going to take this sticky dough, and I'm just going to kind of break it away from the bowl. But I'm not going to knead it. I'm not going to knead the dough. I'm just going to work it around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it and pull it. Stretch it and pull it in. Just like that. Stretch it and pull it in. Just pull it and stretch it. Pull it in. You want to do this a few times. Stretch it. Pull it over. Stretch it and pull it over. We'll do it just a couple more times. Stretch it. Pull it over. Pull it over. I'm not really counting how many times I do it. I just do it several times. And I'm just going to turn it over. Kind of tuck it under. Pat it on the back. Put some plastic over the top. Because we're fixing to put this dough to bed and then we're fixing to go to bed too because in the morning all you're going to have to get do is get up put it in your dutch oven put it in the oven and you're going to have bread so we're going to put it to bed and let's go to bed y'all see you in the morning okay let's see how much it's risen overnight now I've never gotten my sourdough bread to rise as uh, good as this. I put yeast in it, so, but it still has doubled, and it's good and bubbly on top. It's looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I got a piece of parchment paper over here, and I'm just gonna gather my dough up, and it's still real loose and, and shaggy feeling. I don't want to put too much on my parchment paper because I'm going to lift my parchment paper with my dough on it and put it straight into my Dutch oven. So I'm going to try to work with as little flour as I have to. So I'm going to bring this out onto my parchment paper. like this and you can see how sticky it still is now I'm going to take just a little bit I'm just going to work with just a little bit at a time with my flour now, I have flour on here but it's still wanting to stick a little bit you can use rice flour or anything like that it would probably be better a little bit of uh, cornmeal Just don't really need to need it. I just got some sticky issues. I mean, you know, it's real here. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour right there. Now, you don't have to need this. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it like an envelope. So all you do is you're going to take one side over, take the other side over, and if it sticks a little bit, it's okay. Then you're going to take the ends, and you're going to fold them this way, into the middle. Then take this end, stretch it a little bit, 
and fold it over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ball my in, and just make it into a good smooth. Now, the one thing that you don't want to do when you're working this, that's why we're not kneading it, is you see a little gnat flying around. You see these bubbles? You don't want to pop the bubbles. So that's one of the reasons that we did. We're not going to knead the dough. I'm going to put just a little bit more flour right there. So now that I've got it down, I'm just going to tighten that ball up a little bit. Just tuck it and tighten it up. And you can see the bubbles. I hope y'all can see those. I don't know for sure. But you can see them. So you just want to tighten your ball up a little bit. Make it as tight as you can. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this rest for 30 minutes. My Dutch oven is in my oven at 475 and it's getting hot. So while it's getting hot, I'm going to let this rest. I'm going to put some... Uh, to crap over it that I've oiled a little bit keep it from sticking so we'll let this rest just a little bit and we'll come back and we'll get the the dough in the Dutch oven and then we'll get the Dutch oven in the big oven and we'll bake okay I'm going to show y'all how hot this Dutch oven is after taking it out of the oven. Oh, look at that steam coming out. It is hot. So be careful when you're doing it. So I got my bread here, and it's rested 30 minutes. And I'm going to, y'all, I don't know where my bread score is. So I've got a knife here that's not, it's really not sharp enough. I thought I had even a little razor blade that I could do it with, but... I didn't have any new ones, so I'm just going to do the best I can to just to cut one score at one time in the middle. And I'm just going to pick it up, put it in here in the Dutch oven, about that easy. And I'll, I'll bring y'all down here and let y'all see it. So it's in there, and it's ready to go in the oven. Now I turn my oven down to 425. So it's ready to bake. So the first 20 minutes that it's baking, it's going to have its lid on. So we'll bake it just like this for 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll take the lid off and then it'll bake for about 20 to 25 minutes with the lid off. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. It's been cooking with the lid on. So I'm going to bring it out. And it's, it's rolls really good for just, you know, the sourdough leaven is all that's in it. So we're going to put it back in the oven uncovered for another 20 minutes and let it brown up real good and get a crispy crust. Okay, guys. After 25 more minutes, you can see how golden brown the top is. So our bread's done. It looks really good. So we're going to let it cool off and then uh, we'll cut it and we'll taste it. So this is what your bread should look like with all the little holes and crevices in it. Now we're gonna talk about the texture of this bread. I like sourdough bread as long as it's not real sour. So that depends on how fermented your starter is. The texture of your bread, the inside's gonna be chewy and the outside's gonna be crunchy as soon as it comes out of the oven. And there's a lot of people that, that can't eat yeast. They're allergic to it or just don't like it. So using sourdough is a good thing. But your middle's chewy and the outside's gonna be crunchy. So it's not like your regular uh, sandwich bread or anything like that, but it is good. Guys, I hope y'all like this video. If you did give me a thumbs up I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna keep 
studying on my wood stove cookery. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe and tap that bell. If you're not getting my notifications, go back and tap that bell. And God bless everybody.